This, you don't need your backpack. Introducing Colleen Ford Line. All right. All right. We can finish that later when we get back. Hey, shoes, shoes, shoes. Oh my goodness. So many Silly things goose. to remember. I forgot all the big pack <laughs> coming today. Silly so mommy. Right. Hey. hey. Did you know Bonnie Moore has been in the, sh the calling in the calling Ford? I did not know that. In my channel. Okay. Well, you guys have fun. We will. They bought a pack. No, they had no pack. No pack. <laughs> yes. Mommy's what? goofy. Here we go. All right. We'll talk to you Easy soon. Thanks, Bonnie. Okay. Bye, bye, Lola. Bye, bye. Hey, we'll say goodbye to Lola. Too. Okay. Bye.
and then she just fucking runs circles, right? As, as long as I, like, do the running. I go, I run about this far, right? I just run this way, and she thinks I'm almost catching up to her, and then I run across, and then she just fucking goes in circles, and then she does about ten of them, and then she's like, oh, yeah, shit. <laughs> All right, let's go. Exercise, shit. Yeah. Back in the, the, and the things are really not going that way. Well, that's, that's why I have no problem taking Ariel. And out there, out there, it, they were never there with us. They were always downstairs, and Ariel was upstairs with us. Yeah. So she knows that I got more different set of roles than that. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when we were getting home. The Walters were there. And he came in. He was, he wasn't really bad when he came in. Yeah, he was. He was stunned and he wouldn't listen to that. Right? And he came up to me and I was like, oh, I can't turn on the computer. He comes up and says, Bites now, mommy. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was probably not. And I said to Walter, the next time I said, we need to talk. And we always hate that. Yeah, because that doesn't happen. He hated me saying, we need to talk. He was like, and so anyway, there we sat and spoke to each other. said, you gotta fucking stop letting him run you. You're the adult. Autism or no fucking autism. You're bigger than he is. You make the rules. He He's too young to decide what the rules are. Because of the autism, he needs rules. Yes. Like, you have to fuck, have to smart the follow. fuck up. Yeah. Are you ready to me? He said, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well I'm, I'm going to be your mama. <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? No. I don't want it. He said, so you just going to let him do all the fucking deciding? No, it's fine. He doesn't like me. When it gets older and you can't fucking take it, don't come back to me because I've already well, done my shit. That's what I told him. I said, you're going to fucking make right after this is my name and you're not. And you did. I didn't even. But. <laughs> I know, but all this are, stuff. Oh, well, I know. Chances are he could have been. That Connor at that point, he knew. You know, at two, three years old. He knew the difference between walking in the mother's house mm -hmm. and walking in the dad's house. Oh, yes. It was two different, but I felt like a fucking older all the time. So did I. I was the ogre, but I don't care because now I have more respect than they do. You have all these things. Same same with Barbie and Heather. Same fucking thing. thing. They can't I even stand all... their dad. Yep. Can't even stand their dad. Anyways. Yeah. Barbie and Heather is nothing but liabilities. He owes both those kids over $5,000. Barbie does. And Landon is his boss. Leah was his boss, but fired him. Isn't that pathetic? And that fucking body got uh, 1.5 million dollars when really fucking hits the barber down. 1.5 million. And Barker has a lot of fucking And she's making him go to drive off for his kids. Driving to Toronto and back in every day. 25 bucks an hour. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what, karma? Sometimes you just don't see it, right? Mm -hmm. It's nice to look at and look at, and look at the kids. Yeah. Well, Last weekend, you know where they were for Father's Day? The two boys? Fuck that, he owes his money. I think, you know? I think my kids tax day, but nobody. Oh, no. No. And he's just lucky to get attacked. <coughs> yeah. He didn't pay any attention to those kids when they were old. No, no, no because he was too busy. busy. Often. He was busy yeah. and he was doing it. And you know something at least, just yeah. between you and me and the fence post too. If it wasn't for Walter and I breaking up and him being forced to take corner this swimming lesson, it would have been the exact same thing. Yeah. 
That's the thing. I think it's right. like, oh, I went to a lot of their baseball games. What do they mean? And I'm thinking, no, you didn't. You didn't. Went to a couple. I went to all of them. Yeah. And sometimes I had one at this end of fucking town and one at that end. So I watched half a baseball game there and then half here. Uh, I don't know. Like, okay, oh, I know. But, okay. Yeah, like, nice try. Yeah, you can go ahead and take credit. But for the first two, no, you were not there. Now, he paid more attention to Drew. He had no choice because I went back to work and I was on afternoons and we didn't get a babysitter. <laughs> See, exactly. He had to change diapers and everything. You huh? gave him no choice. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, had he been given the choice? And, and Patrick was home from high school just before I went to work, so he watched him for the hour, a half hour before Dave got there, right? Dave got home at 3.30, yep. I worked at Fleetwood, and I started at 3 o'clock, so it was like... Hey, I was that giant tiger! Yeah. Then I got these. Ten bucks, you just four of them. I don't know what they're like, but I'll let you know, but if that's, that's a good deal, and they're in the booth for the right? And they're not very thick. But they're thick enough. Like, I like my medium. I like my, um, well, rare. Medium rare, mostly. Okay. So, it wouldn't have to stay on long. No. Oh, you know what I did buy, though, today? Bad Colleen. Do you want one? I bought creamsicles. Oh, I'll take a creamsicle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it even colored creamsicles. <laughs> They thought, oh, the kids will be around or whatever, and I like them too. And then I thought, and we will leave them. There are three bucks. Yeah, you can't either. Wow. Holy fuck. That goes different from the dope you sold me. I'm spinning. Whoa! I know, I did. Whoa! Yeah. So, you know, and we might even 
come into town, have ice cream or whatever, but yeah. Yeah, we have to find, you know, we can go for somewhere. <coughs>
So anyway, I said, I bet you if you could do it right now, you could, you know, it's great, you know. And this is after he already won the duck. <laughs> I was like, whatever. And then, of course, he wants to go down that slide. Now, well, your back's pretty much fucked from swinging the goddamn thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's got the duck, plus he's always carrying his purse, which he's got loaded. Like I said, you should have played that it before you got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. should have known, known about that. <laughs> but, uh, so now he's got to go up that slide with the stack and go down and cover the Now we've only been to the fair for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <coughs> now, the funniest part, though, <coughs> no, because of the way the fair is set up now, it's not like the old fair, and he I never energy to burn, so. He hasn't been up to that fair before, right? So, anyway, um, Walter had never been up. And he was, oh, man, I had some I had a whole lot more. Yeah, I had a coffee or fucking something to drink. I'm dying. I said, well, I, there's a ton of pop there. He goes, no, I want a hot cup of coffee. I'm going to sit down. Have a cigarette, maybe. He's like, yeah, all right, all right. So you just get right back to the middle and we'll go for lunch. So I said, let's walk all the way to the bar. Said, all the way back up there, all right? Because I won't eat on the way. Right? I'll eat like a pogo stick because you can't really fuck them up. And I, I, I have the greasy little donuts, man. I, I, I got a big thing for those. Yeah, I eat those. Yeah, but I don't really eat them. Yeah, I don't. Really. No, no. I usually go up and get a walkie taco from the church. I that's where I would take my fries or something. But yeah, yeah, they have walkie tacos, and I'm I go more for candy apples. I'm fucking up. Where's all the other good stuff? Oh, should have got a great thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, anyway, so we kept her code through and I said, well, he goes, well, here's some nice spots. I said, all right, let's just go in here. I said, Walter, that's the fucking thing you're good at. And he goes, oh, I said, well, yeah, I don't mind. I'll go have a beer, but whatever. He quit drinking at the time. He goes, oh, he goes, you know, all those years, I've never seen the fair at all. All I do is go to the beer tent. He says, look at me now. I'm going to the fair and don't even know what the beer tent is. <laughs> and they like, yep, whatever, we're going to be personal, right? Yeah. Jesus, how things change. Well, I'm going to change and we're going to stay the same. We have so many bathrooms. Fabulous for clutch cake. I didn't like that lime green, so I'm like, did you get rid of it? Did you do lime green again? No, they did like a light gray. Oh, nice. And you put new flooring down, oh, you nice. made some fixtures, Ooh. you made uh, almost a crown molding trim to go around it. Good for him. Yeah, really nice. New toilet. Wow. A new towel rack. That's not cheap doing a fucking bathroom. Even a shit is a couple hundred bucks, man. And we got the new oval toilet that has back flush. Yeah, I was looking at them, they're pretty expensive. It goes like that. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, it's not it's okay. a back flush. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Actually, I'm not good because my... And the, the, the tank is only like this fucking big, so it's an energy saver. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a small tank. Tiny, perfect. Yeah, but it doesn't need a lot for the back flush. And so now it's going to work on the landing coming into the house. Then the other bathroom, and the, the uh, kids' room, and the his bar. His, yeah, his bar. Yeah. Okay. But he's already got everything he needs for the uh, other bathroom downstairs. He's already got yeah, no, I left it because my, the guy that I have to do the plumbing, he's just a private plumber, chill the plumber. I don't even know his last name is this fucking office full of shit. But he works for the city. It's probably for the city. Side jobs, right? Cash, cash jobs, right? And he's cheap. Like he did, he um, we did all my time putting copper pipe all downstairs. Did all that for two hundred bucks. Wow. 
Michael in the five shutoffs, in the extra shutoffs up here as well. So yeah, and so I was looking at taps and, and shit for it, like the one when he went to the shower. So anyway, he was going to install them. So I said, as soon as I get these taps, I'll give you a call. Do you mind? I said, you install them. Because I said, I figure if I'm going to get new fixtures for the sink and the toilet and the tub, I might as well do one for the kitchen sink too. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, that's because then I'm going to have to have you back over here six months from now because this one's fucking blown up. Says, no problem. He said, well, where did you get your taps and your fixtures? I, I said, I'm just, you know, probably home hardware all the way to the point of sale. I'm just kind of waiting for a sale because it's expensive, right? We're doing that. Yeah, we're and I wanted, like, Mullins. I wanted something half assed that I, I don't know how to replace it myself. So I might as well get something good that lasts, right? You know? And that's what we can do. Yeah, it just, it lasts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. How many I hooked you up? Give me all three of them for 50 bucks. Mullins. Oh, fucking right. Nice. What well, he does, because every once in a while they have to replace all the taps in the building. He just breaks them all, puts in the fucking rubber, and fucking polishes them all up. And, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of times all they need is a seal, but they don't want us in the government, in the welfare buildings. They give you new taps to go install if there's even a leak. Rather than pull it apart and put a new O ring in, <laughs> which he says half the time that's all they need. So it's like, fuck, nice. ah, great on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would call a lot of breaks during that renovation. Yeah. So it was kind of nice. The only one that wouldn't give me a break was the electrician. Maybe straight up 80 bucks an hour. Right, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? He's all he was here ten hours. My electrician, right? He was here so ten I, hours, eight hundred bucks. Yeah, he was my electrician, so I got no problem. He's my plumber. Yeah, he's my drywaller. Right. He's my drywaller. Right. Turtle um, was so good for shit like that too. The, he's gonna take the big mirror and he's gonna cut it like downsize it a bit and put an um, oak trim around it. And the oak trim is gonna be the same design as the wood trim. Um, this lady at work, she goes, I need a mirror down. And she brings a mirror and she's so, she needs a mirror down, blah, blah, blah. She goes, here's the names, here's the date. And she goes, can you, like, I don't know, she goes, maybe put a couple hearts up in the corner or something. So I'm like, okay, so I went with you or something. And, uh. I was so confident that she was going to go for it that I already cut it out and everything, but I said, I'll take a picture of it. If you like it, then I'll cut it out. If you don't, then I'll, but I'll, and cutting it is no big deal. But, so anyway, this is it before it got cut out, right? Oh, I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. And she goes, I bring it in, and she's like, oh my god. Oh my god, she says, and she gives me a big hug. She goes, oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, and she hugs again. She goes, Oh my god, they're going to love it. She says, Do do I owe you more for the artwork? And I goes, No, no, it's all one price. It's whatever you want on it. It's just I say, here's your hearts over here in the thing, eh? And she's like, Oh my god. Aww. That makes you feel so good, doesn't it? Yeah. And then she texts me after going, Thanks again, thanks again, I fucking love it, she Aww. says, right? Hey. Well, she loved it to the point where she showed it off before she left work. I brought it in. She's on afternoon, so she showed it to people before she left work. When I went in last night, and I'm just getting to the Wednesday, so I go in last night, and the lady comes up and she goes, So, do you do those mirrors all the time? I goes, Absolutely. She says, Can she I say, no, I sleep sometimes. Can I get those? <laughs> Would I be able to get one? What do I have to do to, to get one? And I said, well, you buy the mirror, whatever mirror you want, put whatever you want on it, the name, date, picture, whatever, I said, and it cost you 30 bucks. I said, I'll, how long do you need? She goes, I said, at least a week, I said, because I procrastinate for at least two days. I always do, no matter what. 
Yeah. <laughs> I always just wait. Yeah. yeah. I just look at it for a while and, and something's yeah. going to come, right? She goes, okay, but I, I, she goes, I want the same as what she got on. I said, you can't have that. What do you mean? I said, you have the first one. That's been gone. I said, I don't remember what the picture is and I can't throw it again. It's gone. You can't get that. It's like they're one of the kinds. Mm -hmm. She goes, oh, really? And I said, did it have an invitation? Is there a picture on the invitation? And I said, you could go by that. I said, think about it for a while. You've got a couple weeks to think about it. I said, um, do they fish? Do they garden? Do they horseback? Or like the, I said, personalize it for them. Think of something that is for them. Don't pick that. I said, she just said she wanted something with her, so it came to me. Yeah. You're not going to get it again. Right, right. <laughs> like, even if you you're not that hard on me, I can say, do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Now, well, I didn't tell you the wishing well. That one was that's, a bitch. That's pretty much what this lady said. She goes, some hearts or something. Yeah. Right? The wishing well, I didn't get you to do it. And you said that was a bitch. You did. <laughs> but, it's they, 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 they ever so. love it. Uh, yeah. Exactly, Eddie. She had pictures up on her Facebook. I can see it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My sister was there. My niece had pity. Now, maybe I'm oversensitive. But, you know, I love this body and see you. So she had a baby. I think it was last night at 11 o'clock. I was already in bed. I didn't see that she had a baby. She's in Peter Girl. So, I didn't see it on Facebook or anything like that. I didn't open it up until this morning. Oh, right well, on. She's very cute. <coughs> and actually, the kid was like about three months old. She's been quite a bit real chubby, and you know, like she just looks like a baby. Patrick looked like he was three months old when he was born. He looked like his features and everything looked oh, older. Yeah. He was ET, man. And I was a baby cut, and his skin was all scaly. He looked like a fucking dead fish. Dead <laughs> fucking eyes, and his little wee neck, and I'm looking at him go, Once he's trying to shove up, he's going to the science lab. Yeah. 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 Fuck you, should have been I know they yeah. should be in Walter shouldn't mix, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, it's like he's only been three weeks, and his skin was so dry from, like, the bed. It was just, yeah, he was overcooked. But anyway, my sister fucking puts up. At midnight, so she must have been up, puts up, oh, I'm a great aunt, congratulations, Melissa Ford, Mary McFarland. Now, nobody's seen this post that Melissa's done yet, right? That her husband had put up. If mom hadn't seen it, she probably hasn't had a chance to film my mother. Yeah. She hasn't had a chance to do this. She hasn't had a chance to do this. Isn't that like Melissa's news to film my grandma? Yeah. It? Not many to put it up on Facebook about how she's going to be a great aunt. Yeah. All right. I know the new one is great. And that's what she puts up. <laughs> and yeah. I think don't be too into yourself, Lenny. Well, like, holy fuck. fuck. And that's why I said to her, like when I was pregnant, I told her I was pregnant, <laughs> and she says she had told the whole fucking family. And it's like, you know what, it's not your fucking news to tell. I was really surprised when I was pregnant with um, Drew. Because um, I found out the doctor called me that afternoon and I'm just like, what? Did you, you know I have teenagers, I can't be pregnant like this, right? He's like, oh yeah, and I'm like, oh, fuck. So I, I phoned Dave from work. And I told him, yes, uh, the tests were positive, right? And all of a sudden he's like, yeah, this is the guy. Him, Patrick, and Anna phoned everybody on the, in our phone and fucking list and told them I was pregnant. 
It wasn't one person. The fucking, yes. Yeah. I'm like, hey, did you? Oh, congratulations. I'm like, they called you too? Like, what did they do? They down the whole list and then I found it. Yeah, they did. I'm like, Jeez, holy it's fuck. It's my news to tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I know what or let's tell it to fucking labor. Or let's at least tell give it to me a little bit of glory. Yeah. yeah. Let me phone my mom. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, you might want to turn this off and save some battery. Uh, We're on live. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right.